This morning we're starting a boat install. We have a Crutchfield employee, Doug's boat, behind me here, and we're putting in a complete audio system. The first thing we're putting in is polyplanar speakers, amp, and a subwoofer. And then later on, we're gonna add more speakers, another amp, and an awesome new head unit. The folks at Polyplaner were nice enough to drive down from Baltimore and help us install their system. It comes with a four channel amp, a compact sub, and a waterproof enclosure, and a pair of waterproof speakers. This system can function on its own. In fact, it can connect directly to an iPod or other portable player, but we chose to integrate it into a larger system by connecting the amp to our receiver. We installed the polyplanar speakers under the gunnels and the subwoofer in the rear compartment. This placement was designed to create an expansive sound all around the boat. The speakers fire down towards the boat floor and the sub fires towards the back of the boat. We'll mount these in the gunnel and uh, we'll put a little, a little bit of Loctite on these uh, threads when we tighten these threads on so that it won't uh, back out later. Whenever you drill, drill into fiberglass, and you put screws into it, you always want to make sure that you put some type of a, a silicone sealant on there to protect from any water potentially penetrating the hull. So I'm just going to mount this up. Once the polyplanar install was finished, it was time to add another amp and two more pairs of speakers. We chose a JL Audio Marine amplifier, a pair of Polk Audio Marine speakers for the bow, and a pair of JL Audio Marine speakers for the cockpit. The amplifier is marine grade, packs plenty of power, and it's relatively small, so it won't take up much space on the boat. Speakers are also designed for marine use, so they'll be able to hold up to the weather that Doug encounters in the bay or out at sea. We installed a Clarion M502 digital media receiver so Doug can play almost any portable device that's out there. It has a USB connection for iPod or iPhone, built-in Bluetooth for compatibility with most smartphones, and for even more listening choices, we installed a Sirius XM Edge with dock and a marine ready antenna. So iPod, smartphone, satellite radio, he's all set. If you have questions about anything we installed on Doug's boat or you'd like to design a system for your boat, just give us a call.